welcome back, friends. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for joining us. This is Michigan Crime Time, and I am Jess, your host. I am not an attorney. I am not putting forth any legal conclusions, nor giving any legal advice. All comments are my opinion, irregardless of any verbiage that I may use. And all persons are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, and my videos are not the official court record. Okay, now that we got the official stuff out of the way, I know I have not posted many videos lately. I have had a lot of personal and family health issues going on that has prevented me from doing so. So those of you that have stuck by me, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate all the support. Um, today we are in front of Judge Simpson, and it is a Friday Landlord Tenant Docket, and let's just say Lemony Snicket's has nothing on this guy. I mean, well, before we go there, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you enjoy my content and would like to consider further supporting me, the link is in the description to join my memberships. And that would help me a lot. Anyways, let's get into the courtroom and see just exactly what's going on. Gulfside Lakes versus Thomas Williams. James Sink for the plaintiff. Mr. Williams, you're waving. Can you unmute? Okay, there they, they clicked. Can you hear me now? There sir? you go. Okay. Okay, we got you now. Woohoo! Happy Friday. <laughs> um, he was supposed to pay in full by the 24th. Did you do that? No, sir. Let me, uh, can I explain what happened? I was previously homeless and the VA helped get me into this apartment. Um, I have a voucher from the VA and Ann Arbor Housing Authority that they have been paying Great Lakes uh, $934 every month. Um, my portion of the rent is $517. I had ended up having a stroke in April that I was in and out of the hospital and the money that I had to pay them, an individual that was supposed to take care of stuff for me, took all my money and took off. Uh, we have not been able to find him. I am currently working back with uh, the VA, Deidre Marshall and Chris Levitt, um, and also the Adult Protection Services, trying to uh, get this rectified. As of last night, the VA has been waiting on paperwork from Great Lakes. Uh, they're supposed to be getting a W-9 in the statement of account. They have not received anything from Great Lakes. Um, when you're saying Great Lakes, you mean Gulfside Lakes? I'm sorry. Yes, Your Honor. Gulfside Lakes. Okay, go ahead. Um, and uh, the Adult Protection Services is supposed to be help getting me at, um, with Hawk, SER, and Hope uh, in a way to try to get some money. Um, I had asked for a loan from somebody that was supposed to be getting me the money. Uh, that I could brought everything up to up to date. I got their uh, certified bank check Wednesday night, yesterday morning. I went to the bank and deposited it. That afternoon, I got a call from the um, security of my bank and said that the bank check I got was fraudulent and a fraud. Um, I gave them what information that I had from the people that had sent it to me. Okay. Um, so I'm in the process this, of trying to get more. You're, money you're, okay. So you're working with the VA and the Ann Arbor Housing Authority and the Adult Protection Services. Okay. Have you called Hawk? Um, I had just got that information from them. I'm a disabled vet. Um, so it's hard getting things, um, but yes, I'm in the process of trying to get a hold of them today. Okay, you need to get a hold of, you've got the phone number, right? Uh, yes, sir. I think I wrote it down from when you had said, was telling the other person. 734-961-1999? Um, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I need you, to, I'm going to adjourn your matter out one week. 
see where you are on everything. Let them check on that 1099 to the VA and see if some of that will get cleared up with that. So I'm going to adjourn it to the second at 2 p.m. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just, just so we're all on the same page, uh, my client got the request for information today, and okay, it, it will be sent yet today. Okay. Very good. And you hear you, you hear that, sir? Yes, From the, so VA. the VA. Yeah, the VA and yes. the Never Housing Authority uh, sends them nine hundred and thirty-four dollars a month. I don't know if they have gotten. Yeah, they, money yet. Well, not any of it that I can see, but let me just check, Judge. I'll tell you the last time we got a payment. Um, got six, I take that back. Um, we got, they're getting 682 a month from the Housing Commission. Not quite. Right. My, it says 934. They should be receiving. You're only getting what? 682? Yes, sir. And your portion is 517. And right. Yeah, because according to the voucher I have, it says that they're getting paid nine hundred and thirty-four dollars, which includes all utilities. Okay, I will have to ask them about that. The uh, number okay. eight that I'm dealing with, they are they don't work Fridays or holidays, so they're closed today and Monday, and then they are taking off on vacation and won't be back until June tenth. Okay, all right. Well, let's see what we can work through with this. Get yourself over to Hawk. And let's see what we can come up with, okay? Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Have a good weekend. You do the same. Okay, you guys. This is the epitome of if he didn't have bad luck, he would have no luck. And honestly, you just can't help but like him. I mean, I like to think I'm a very happy-go-lucky person, even if things are difficult. But this guy has me beat by miles. Anyways, Chima Glitch, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe in the link or in the box down to, in the description down below is the link if you would like to join my channel membership. There's also the link for my merch if you'd like to get some official Michigan Crime Time swag. Anyways. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.